Congratulations, Stalin. <clears throat> Judge DuBose, am I saying your name right? That's correct, Senator. Okay. Um, we don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to be direct. Um, I think most of my questions are designed to be yes or no. Um, are you still a Marxist? Um, thank you for the question, Senator. Um, you don't have to thank me. We'll say um, I'm, I you am, are welcome. Um, I am not, uh, nor have ever been, a Marxist. Well, you gave an interview in 2000 to the feminist press. In fact, you didn't turn it over to us. We had to ask for it. We found it on our own. And you did then turn it over to us. Um, and this is what you were describing your time working in a coffee shop. You said, quote, the kids would come into the cafe all the time. We'd talk about what they're doing. We'd talk about their classes. And I was in my Marxist phase. So... You used to be a Marxist, but you're not now? Uh, no, Senator, if I may. The context of the first of that interview, um, I had no idea that that interview was something that was going to be published. I did an interview with but, the... But did under you mean what you said, whether it was no, published or not, or whether no, we'd find it? No, no, trying to understand what, what you believe. You no, said I was in my Marxist phase. Thank Are you, you, Senator. still in your Marxist phase, or was that in the past? No, Senator, if I may explain... Sure. Um, I was a political science major. When I graduated from college, I immersed myself in a ton of political theory. I read Hobbes, I read Locke, I read Rousseau, I read Marx. I went through a phase where I was into Eastern religion, where I read the Tao Te Ching, uh, the Analects of Confucius. So I suspect, and I don't know that that quote with the article, um, I don't know if she was referring to what I was studying at the time, but as a political science major and as a theorist and someone who was considering teaching a course in political theory, I had I immersed well, myself but, in those but things. But she didn't refer to anything. She meaning, I assume you're referring to the to the reporter who interviewed. These are your words. And you didn't say, I'm in my Hobbes phase. You didn't say, second, I'm in my Locke phase. I mean, you didn't say, I'm in my Rousseau phase. You said, um, I, I'm, I was in my Marxist phase, and my sim question is real simple. Are you still a Marxist? Uh, Senator, I've never been a Marxist, and I'm not a Marxist today. Okay. All right. Have you ever served as lead counsel in a federal bench trial? Uh, no, Senator. With my experience as both a state prosecutor, as an in-house counsel at Schneider Electric, doing very complex compliance and regulatory work, and my work as a district court sitting judge handling general jurisdiction. Yes, I've, I've read your resume. I, I just want to get through these questions. Have you ever served as lead counsel in a federal jury trial? No, Senator. I have not. Okay. Have you ever attended a federal jury trial? And no, Senator. It live? No, no. No, Senator. Have you ever watched a federal jury trial on TV? Um, I don't believe that federal trials are televised, so no, I have not, Senator. Have you ever watched any trial on television? Uh, Senator, I handle and preside over trials every single day as a state district court judge. We follow the rules of evidence, criminal procedure, civil procedure. Um, so I feel that with my experience that I am well-suited and capable to make the transition from our state district court to our U.S. District Court. Okay. Uh, when you were practicing law, did you ever draft a motion or a brief uh, applying the federal rules of evidence? No, Senator. As a state prosecutor... I'm sorry, you said what? I said, I said no, Senator. No, okay. Um, when you were practicing law, did you ever draft a motion or a brief applying the federal rules of civil procedure? Well, I believe that there were times at Schneider Electric giving advice to business units regarding uh, the federal acquisition regu regulations that I would draft briefs to give them counsel as to how to be compliant with the federal rules. So in, in that respect, the answer would be yes. Okay. What's an interpleader action? Interpleader action is a third party who's going to intervene in a, in a civil suit. They're not a primary party. Okay. Um, what's Vaidir? Voir dire is the process with which uh, jurors are questioned by uh, by the state and Democrat, um, by defense and prosecutors to serve on the Have panel. Have you ever conducted a voir dire in federal court? Uh, not in federal court. Okay. I'm going to yield back six seconds, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Senator 
White House. Uh, just to clarify the record, Judge Tubos, do you recall when that interview was done, the interview that uh, Senator Kenny referred to? No, Senator, I don't. And, and I, if I recall, and I was brought to my attention yesterday, that was never an, an interview that I did that was I thought was going to be published. I never reviewed it. I didn't. It was an undergrad student who was interested in teaching, who spent 20 minutes. What were minutes. you doing at the time? I was teaching. So this was before you even went to law school. This was yeah, I, I was, it was many, really many, early. many, many, many years ago. It, it was, Senator. Perhaps during the time when my colleague, Senator Kennedy, was a Democrat. Showing that people can change their views, even if it were true that you were then in a Marxist phase. Senator Graham. Mr. Chairman, my name was invoked. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed. As a proud Democrat, we were like my that part of history. My name was invoked, Mr. Chairman. Now, I, I just want to let the record reflect, and I love Senator Whitehouse. Uh oh. But I'll tell you one thing: I've never been a Marxist. I've never been a Marxist. And I've never admitted I was a Marxist and then not turned the document over to, to this committee. We had to find it. And we did. And now your testimony, the testimony under oath today is, I didn't say that. The reporter said that. No, the witness said that. And then the testimony is, well, I didn't mean it to become public. That's not the issue. So, you know, if we won't get personal here, we can. Senator Graham? Uh, thank you. Uh, let's agree on the following. A Louisiana Democrat is probably not a Marxist. <laughs> but uh, the bottom line is, uh, why wasn't it available to the committee, Mr. Gunn? Uh, thank you for the question, Senator. I had no idea that the um, article existed. When I did the interview with that undergrad student, mm -hmm. it was for a paper for a class. It's something you didn't know about. I, I was in an interview with a young lady who was interested in teaching as an undergrad, and I was just sharing my transition, right. so, how I went to uh, be so into teaching. I understand. Your testimony is, this is not something I've seen before. Had you seen it before? No, Senator. Okay, so... If you hadn't seen it, you didn't know about it, so that's why you didn't turn it over. That's correct. Okay, just make make sure of that. Uh, Mr. Ali, is that right? <laughs> yes, Senator. You were ahead of the MacArthur or Associated MacArthur Justice Center, is that correct? 